Hello and welcome to the presentation of our paper Detecting Presence of Speech in Acoustic Data Obtained from Beehives. I am Pascal Linitsky and I'm going to jump right into our motivation. Our motivation mainly stems from the We4B project, which manages smart beehives. These beehives are then distributed to educational institutions worldwide, but mainly in Germany. And each of these beehives is equipped with sensors, which we have marked yellow in the picture on the right. Among these sensor, sensors are also microphones, which we have um, marked with red circles in the right image, and the microphones are inside these boxes. Well, with the recorded audio, we can uh, analyze the bee swarms on the communication level. This means we can analyze the swarm health or predict the swarming behavior based on the audio recordings. This is why we want to record the audio data. The challenge with this project is that the beehives, as I've said, are predominantly placed in public space, schools or universities, and that we then require the written permission from all users to record the audio data. And obviously, this is not feasible due to the project's open and uh, very distributed nature. So our approach to solve this was first to collect the data set and second to use, then use deep learning to detect the presence of speech. The data set or the collection thereof started last year in May 2020 from, for one selected beehive. And we took one day from, the three, from these three months written here. We took one day from August, September, and October each, and then from these days, we manually labeled a subset as either zero, so the audio data does not contain speech, or one, also called positive, which means that the labeled sample contains speech. These samples are each 60 seconds long and are recorded at 44 at 1 kilohertz. And as one can quickly see from the table to the right, which is table one from our paper, the data set is very small. We have only 200 samples in total, and it is also very imbalanced with the negative samples. So the no speech class being the majority of samples. Our approach was thus to leverage CMEs networks, which are very well for imbalanced data. And our approach was to input the raw audio data or pairs of raw audio data, then pass them through a pre-processing stage, which mainly consisted of applying Gaussian noise, time shifting, and pitch shifting. And then we come to the heart of the CMEs networks, which employ weight sharing for, in this case, each audio sample. So the spectrograms are calculated as part of the forward pass. And then the same set of weights is used to compute the embeddings, so the output of the network for each of these audio samples. And this, these embeddings are then used to calculate the distance between them. And the loss takes this distance account and the label for this pair, though the label is zero if the pair is from the same class each sample. And it is one if the samples of this pair are from different classes. And then we train the network to minimize the distance to zero for pairs from the same class and otherwise to maximize the distance. During test time, we um, used the embeddings, which you obtained for test data, feed them to a K and M, and let this K and M predict the class for the test sample. As far as our methods are concerned, we have used three CNNs in this mentioned CME setup. The CNNs are from these three given respective sources, and we've also used the Kepler library to compute the male spectrograms as part of the network's forward pass. Uh, this allows us to compute them on the GPU, which greatly speeds up the computation. We've also used each of these written CNNs in a non-CMEs setup, and, and which is then our baseline. Further, we have used Datum Optimizer with this given learning rate here, and we have also used early stopping with an offset, and we described this offset as the guaranteed number of update steps that our training algorithm does. So 
the counter for early stopping starts only after this given amount of update steps is done. We also repeat each run five times and then average the results. And for the metrics, we have used the area on the rock metric, which ranges, ranges from zero to one, where zero is the worst, 0 0.5 is random guessing, and one is perfect. And we are also particularly interested in the recall of the class speech because a high recall of this class, zero to one, or one perfect. So a high recall of this class means that a, this algorithm is well suited to detect the presence of speech. And as you can see in the baseline results, then where we train the networks to only classify, to directly classify a sample as zero, no speech, no or negative or also one, which means contains speech, that in this setup, the recall is very low. So the conclusion for the baseline is that um, we cannot, cannot use these networks to detect the presence of speech. But fortunately, the results for the CMEs networks, where we first train the networks to minimize or maximize the distance between these embeddings, and then add a KNN, for this setup, the results are way better, as we can see from the table, which is table five from our paper. Um, we see that both the Said and Bulbul, Bulbul networks, which are named after its respective authors, um, that both these two networks reach perfect OROC and recall scores, and the ESC network does not fare as good, which we think is due to its more shallow architecture. Our conclusion is that using train time augmentations, as I've stated, uh, combined with an early stopping offset is beneficial, and also that CMEs networks are well, well suited for highly balanced audio data, as in our case. For future work, you want to increase the size of the labeled data set. We have access to a high number of unlabeled samples, so we want to label them. Then you also want to add more acoustic events, for example, um, a queen bee making its sounds. And lastly, you also want to deploy, deploy the networks directly on the beehives. That's it from us. Thank you for your attention, and we are looking forward for your questions.